Hi friends, today is Monday, it is 4 20, 20. Um, This week we're going to be focusing on describing the setting or major events in the story and part of that goal is being able to follow many events in a story. So to make this a little bit easier, um, as you listen to today's story, something that you can do is jot down um, a few notes maybe as you read a story that you're reading on your own or with today's story, kind of up to you. Um, I just wrote B for beginning, M for middle, E for end. A lot of my friends have seen this before as um, we've practiced this. You can write down what happens, uh, what happened in the beginning. So a lot of times in the beginning of a story is where characters are introduced and the setting is introduced. Maybe take a few notes on that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You could write the setting is here. The characters are these characters. Um, they could be animals. They could be people. They, these are their names. <laughs> kind of depends. The middle is sometimes where there is a problem in fiction. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of a boring story if there's no uh, situation or a problem. So maybe a character is having some sort of situation. What is what's going on in the story that's making it juicy? Write about that maybe in the middle. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just take a few notes on it. Think about the events that are happening. And at the end, if there's a problem in the story, how is it solved? Because if the problem's not being solved, we just have a lot of story. <laughs> so think about that. Again, um, I would encourage you just to use this as a brainstorming sheet, a practice sheet. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just gets us thinking about the many events in a story. Um, and that kind of thing. It just works towards our goals about being active readers. Um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? So do your best and have fun, have fun with it. The most fun you can. Um, for writing, we're going to do something a bit new that we haven't even done in um, school before. So this, this should be interesting, but we're going to take it super slow. We're going to talk about opinion writing. Um, and an opinion is what you think or what you feel about something. So it's not necessarily, it's something that's not necessarily always true. So some words that kind of go along with opinion writing are, I think, I believe, uh, my favorite, this is the best, like my favorite animal are owls. A lot of my friends know this. Or somebody else might say, my favorite animal is a dog. These are our opinions. They're not necessarily wrong, but we're not really sharing any facts either. And But I would explain why. My favorite animal is an owl because they're night owls, or they stay up late just like me. They're cute, they can see at night, and they're really awesome. I'm not really giving a ton of facts, but I'm explaining my opinion. Um, so that's, that's kind of a light taste of what opinion writing is kind of like. <laughs> so I'm going to share this example with you and hopefully this sheds a little bit more light. So I love dogs because they are so cute. Okay. Or dogs have fur and tails. So do you think this, is a, this is a fact or do you think this is a fact? Hmm. I love dogs because they are so cute. This is an opinion because maybe to some people dogs aren't cute. That would be their opinion. But most dogs, not all of them, I'll give you that. Most dogs have uh, fur and tails. That would be more of a fact. So what I would like you to do uh, today for writing is think of your own example of an opinion and your own example of a fact. Um, it can be whatever you want. This will be a little bit tricky. Um, and it could be about animals. It could be about anything you want it to be. Just make it as, <laughs> as simple as you can because it is kind of hard to get um, thinking about this because it's a little bit tricky too. So do your best with that. Um, for phonics this week, we are going to be focusing on um, some review words. We have done these in the past, so long I and long O, uh, but focusing on the I consonant E and I consonant O pattern. 
So like in the word like. So the E gives the power to the I to make a long I like in ol I k like. Um, same with joke, j o k joke. Um, otherwise, if we didn't have that e, the o would not be getting power, so it'd be jock, or stav, or lick. So we're reviewing some of these words. We have done most of these in the past, so it should be a good review. But again, it's been a long time. Um, again, let me know if you have questions on these. Do your best, <laughs> and. Um, let me know if you need me with that. Um, as always, if you do have the opportunity to or um, have the abil availability, spend some time on Lexian Dreambox. Um, both of those things are just really great practice. Um, and they let me also see what skills um, kids are working on and how they're progressing too, which is kind of nice for me to um, see where everyone is at. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or need anything from me, please let me know. Um, yeah, I miss you guys so much. Um, please have a wonderful day. Bye.